Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today, this is not a tutorial, it's just an introduction to the next three videos I'm releasing alongside with this one. That's right, four videos, one day. Those three videos, uh, they're a tutorial on how to clean up your ROM sets. I broke them down into stages or steps as I call them. And while it's not necessary really to go through all three of these steps, if you want a nice clean ROM set, that's, you know, um, specifically catered to what you want and what you don't, then following the three steps, I think, is best. Um, I don't want to do a tutorial, uh, like, intro in each one of those tutorial videos, so that's why I'm doing this here. I'll refer you back to this one. That way I could just move along with each one of those videos. So the first video, uh, which is step one, is I'm going to give you my recommendations on organizing your ROM folders and setting them up and stuff, primarily with use for RetroArch, but of course you can use them with whatever you want. Uh, the second video, we're going to be talking about DATs and things like that. Oh, and then also in that step one video, we're going to get rid of maybe some unwanted ROMs using what I call the bulk or, or batch method. Um, that just means that you can get rid of maybe certain types of genres of games, certain um, types of games that you just don't like, don't have any interest in, that appear a bunch of times in bulk in your particular ROM set. And we'll just be using the Windows Explorer or built-in Windows Search uh, to do that. So in the step two in the second one, we'll be going over a DAT and XML files, which are really the same thing. I'll explain to you a little bit about those. Um, I'll also briefly touch on the 1G, 1R method, which is one game, one region, and why I don't use it. And then in that video, we'll be using the ROM Center software for Windows to fix improperly named ROMs, which is important in case you want to display box arts and snapshots or screenshots or whatever games, if you want to use cheats and stuff like that uh, for the no intro ROM sets, all of those types of files are named a certain way. So if you want them to work properly with your ROM set, you got to make sure your ROMs are properly named. And then we we'll, might see if there's any ROMs that are missing any files or missing ROMs in general from your set and then we'll delete some of the regional duplicates but the main um uh meat and potatoes of getting rid of all the uh, duplicate roms in your rom set will occur in step three in the third video where we are going to delete all those duplicating clones and uh, there's a couple of different ways to do this but in that video i'm going to be focusing on using the all do software, which is free uh, for Windows. And I just think it makes things a lot more easier and convenient. Plus, you can use it later on along with those box art files, snapshot files, cheat files, and things like that. When we get to those videos, I'll uh, show you how to use it. Anyway, as we go through these videos, I do want you to keep in mind these key points because they will pertain to each and every one of these videos. These uh, tutorials will focus primarily on no intro ROM sets. So a no intro ROM set is a ROM set that contains all the games that were released globally for a particular system. They also uh, really primarily, these no intro ROM sets are for systems that are from the 8-bit and 16-bit era, uh, not just consoles, but handheld as well. What I'm going to show you in the next three videos you can use for MAME or FB Alpha, especially FB Alpha, I think is a little bit better, but it's not as practical. There's other ways that are more practical and I think a little bit better for the MAME or FB Alpha ROM sets to get them clean and getting rid of duplicates or games you don't want or whatever. Um, and I'll probably do a video for those two types of ROM sets at some point later on. Uh, there's various ways to do everything I'm gonna show you in these videos. Keep in mind that this is not the end all way of doing these things. This is just my method. I've been dealing with ROMs for 17 or 18 years now. And overall, what I'm showing you in these videos, I think is not only the easiest, but it's the easiest that also offers the most control as to what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. That's why I'm not using the 1G1R method. Uh, we'll talk more about that as we go along. There's no quick button. There's no easy way really to just clean out your ROM sets if you want to be thorough and detailed. It's time consuming. And because it's time consuming, don't think though that it's difficult. Many people nowadays, 
you know, when something is time consuming, they say, oh, it's too hard because they don't want to admit that they're lazy. And they, you know, they say it's hard because, you know, they want to make it seem like it's just something they can't do because of the difficulty level. But it's not something being difficult, something being time consuming are two different things. Nothing I'm going to show you in these videos is difficult. Absolutely nothing. What it is, is time consuming. And that's just the way around it. If you want a nice clean ROM set and you want to be very thorough with it, it's just going to take time. The good thing is that with these no intro ROM sets, you only really have to do it once. You don't have to, once you get it cleaned up and everything, you don't have to worry about it, it again really for like years um, because that's just how they are by design. They're not like MAME and FB Alpha ROM sets which get updated more frequently especially main, which gets updated like every 30 days. Honestly, no intro ROM sets really don't work this way uh, all that much. So yeah, getting them clean once is really all you need before you ever have to do it again. And so that's pretty much it, guys. One thing I will put in the link in the description is, of course, a link to all of those videos that I'm going to release at the same time as this one, but also the link to this RetroArch tutorial, which will have all of these videos. And of course, even more will be coming into the future. Uh, I want this kind of to be your uh, central hub for all things retro arch and just ROMs and emulation in general. And that's pretty much it, guys. As always, you know, I appreciate you tuning in. Much love going out to all of you. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do hit the like button because you know it keeps me motivated. I keep bringing you videos like this. Take care and we will see you in the next one.